Hi, John Marshall, the Drill Master. I have the 2018 version of the Air Force Honor Guard Drill Team's performance, and this includes the use of a supernumerary. So the uh, individual who recorded didn't exactly get the exchange, but uh, uh, caught on as to what was happening and then moved the camera over. So I appreciate that. <clears throat> All right, let's go ahead and get started. So I queued it up just before the uh, the command to step So it's great to get that announcement uh, in first uh, that you can cheer at any time that you won't break their concentration because people think they need to be quiet. So the, uh, the, the chair step mark time, the signature uh, mark time, honestly, of the Air Force Honor Guard. Nicely done. Although, yeah, okay. Uh, had the uh, airman back here with separation of fingers there. <clears throat> so not only did we have that layered visual effect, uh, those in front uh, kneeling and then those in the back standing, but we also had the, the radiating effect of facing off in different directions, which was which is uh, it's nice it includes more of the audience so spinning this close is uh, it takes tons of practice tons of concentration but they are trained to handle distractions uh, trained on the honor guard to handle distractions the last thing you want to do is burst out laughing if something happens with a, a dignitary. And that's part of the, uh, the training that uh, helps. Now, the catches, are, are they're just not there. And, and that's for now this same, same move, but you'll see here, there. The catches just aren't the same. Middle uh, in uh, uh, in 2012 did the same thing. Uh, the the angle the the height isn't there, and also the rotation isn't there. the The catches really should be more horizontal, like these two here. Uh, this is uh, the. Uh, the reach or the the length of the the toss wasn't there so you've got height rotation and length that really all need to be balanced out that take you know quite a bit of time to uh, perfect It's too bad they didn't use the circle. So to uh, to create one formation, move into the circle, double circle really, around the commander, and then uh, move out of the block formation uh, is fine. It's just that use of the uh, of the formation would be uh, better uh, as far as programming goes. 
So you see here these uh, uh, the spinning and the tosses are adjusted for the uh, the larger block formation, whereas with the earlier formation, uh, the 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 more solid the block was. I appreciate those exchanges there. They're they're fun to watch. Uh, but the the more uh, uh, closely knit that block formation was earlier on, you could see that uh, it was much more intricate work. There, catches like that would be better with those uh, with the blind tosses there. So here, you can see there's a drop, but they're all going to come to a certain point, and now they have to wait. <clears throat> so here is a supernumerary. This is exactly what they're for. So a weapon's dropped, the supernumerary comes in with a weapon, gives the, uh, the drill team member the weapon, and then picks up whatever uh, needs to be picked up whether it's pieces or the whole weapon and then the team continues on but you could hear uh, uh, a caution being given for the rest of the team to just stop what they were doing So in the 2012 version of the uh, of the program, you saw the long line and then the movement out of different spots on the uh, in the long line uh, movement of the tetrad coming out. So this is the uh, the tetrad version. It used to be performed for every uh, drill team performance. And of late, it's uh, it's not included, which actually is uh, is nice because the uh, the tetrad performance uh, can be used as its own separate thing to go off and and be performed in other venues. So you saw exchanges one way earlier and then exchanges the other way here. So um, variation is always a good thing. Now uh, that's, that's horizontal variation. Vertical variation 
isn't always a good thing. And I'm talking about variation of technique. So uh, variation of the tosses over time, that's horizontal variation. And then variation of the uh, uh, variation of technique at a certain point, uh, a certain point in time, that's, that's vertical variation. So there was variation there. That was vertical variation with a high toss and then a lower toss and the crisscrossing of the tosses at the same time. That was perfectly fine. Obviously, that's, that's a, a good thing to have that type of vertical variation. But variation that's not supposed to happen, vertical variation that's not supposed to happen, uh, is a bad thing. So not exactly, <clears throat> not exactly the same here. Same stance. Uh, you can see the knee angled over, and then the the left foot, the the toe pointed inward. So it, if the uh, if both the team members are supposed to be doing this, you know, angling inward like that, fine. It's just that they need to. Uh, uh, the airman on the left needs to angle over better and not not twist his body because there is a a certain twist there uh it need they both need to be straight on straight forward would probably be uh uh preferred uh but still nice layered effect again So the team members still went into various uh, their various places, although the setup was there, stepping back uh, back into the formation. <clears throat> uh, the formation dropped them off, but the formation didn't pick them up. So as far as integration of the the tetrad performers, it's you know creating seamless uh, transitions is preferred, but also difficult. I was talking about seamless transitions earlier. A seamless transition here would have been the rest of the team. With having the, the four at the tetrad and the commander up front, the seamless transition would have been the commander marching back and the, the team members back here in the long line waiting. Those team members coming up and forming the, uh, the cordon. That would have been uh, uh, not necessarily a better uh, transition uh, but at least uh, a little more logical I guess you'd say and as I was also alluding to it's it's definitely seamless 
attempts to march off and back to the narrow bounds of spinning weapons. Pretty good application of that chair step mark time. So just as with the uh, ending the 20 2012 performance, you know, the 2012 performance had the two lines, standing Queen Anne and then the kneeling Queen Anne, and this is just a straight present. Um, <clears throat> the, the 2012 uh, ending was just uh, uh, perfect. It was... It, it just worked really well this is fine it's not as for some reason visually it's not as powerful as the other um, and not as powerful as the team has performed and well designed really uh, in subsequent years but still it's it's fine everybody loves it and that's the point is to uh, is to have uh, the audience cheering and they're at Keesler Air Force Base uh, a training base in Mississippi <clears throat> and so of course everybody loves it And there you go. Awesome job, team. Uh, it's interesting to watch the evolution of the performances, and, and I'll get to more. So thank you very much for watching. I appreciate it.